Hi gorgeous people, I've been threatening to do something about Pink Monkey for ages. So today I thought that I would do something different and do a video about working with this gizmo. I've been using it um, since December and it's really helped, helped me with my artwork and it's quite easy to use and you can create some really gorgeous images quite simply. I find it easier to use than Corel and Paint Shop, although I suppose people who love those two programs would probably a bit iffy if they found out I was saying I have prefer something else but you know each is on their own. So what I'd like you to do first off is to get up the PicMonkey um, website on your screen and you can find that at www.picmonkey.com. So if you bring that up what we're going to do today is to start by working with um, a blank canvas because you can set up your own blank canvas you don't necessarily have to work with a photo to start with so go to um, the screen and you'll see that <coughs> edit a photo create a collage and design now if you click on design you'll see underneath it that you can have various size canvases go to the one that's square and click on that you'll see a blank square in front of you now onto your left you'll see canvas color you can set any sort of color you want on your canvas or you can leave it white if you want to but for our purposes I'd like you to pick a color and what I'd like you to do is not to pick any particular color that you feel fixated on but just to take your um, click on one colour and then move your cursor over until you find a colour that you think you really want to work with today. It could be any colour. I started off with pink and I've done another painting with a sort of a, a pale pink violet background. And then you click on apply so that you you actually set your canvas. Now, when you're looking at your screen now, you'll see on the left-hand side various symbols. Take your cursor down until you get to textures and click on textures. Now here, you'll get all the sort of stuff that you can make different um, patterns on, on your canvas. Now, if you click on space, you'll have three different pictures there in that space section. The first one will come up automatically on your screen. Now if you then look at blend mode, you've got multiply, you can go up to hard light, lighten, multiply, over to overlay, down to screen and then to subtract. I must admit what comes up in subtract with me looks like the dreaded Lurgy, but anyway I certainly wouldn't be using that. So perhaps you like the multiply that you've come up with, you can click on that and then you've got a saturation, you can have more of it than you want, you can change the colour and underneath you've got fade, you can have less of it on your canvas and you can have more. Now what you can also do is click the second one in line and that will give you a real galactic feel if that's what you feel like and again you can work through the multiply, hard light, light and overlay screen and subtract or you can go to the last one which will come up um, and then again you can set it through saturation, fade or you can use your multiply, hard light, light and overlay screen subject um, functions. So if you fancy setting any of those click on and, and press apply so that you've actually got it fixed on your canvas. If you then go to burst you'll find that you've got a very nice starburst on your screen. I love using this actually, it's really gorgeous, it creates some lovely effects. So again, if you go to hard light, you'll see that it changes, lighten, overlay, screen or subtract, which will give you a different one. And actually in mine, it was pink before, but it's come up with a rather lovely red, so I'm going to leave that. It looks rather nifty actually. Um, the other thing you can do is switch over to the other two pictures that are there and you'll see that the colours are very different, the patterns are very different and again you can play around with um, the hard light, light and multiply overlay screen etc. So all of this you can play around with, that's the whole idea of today. That you fiddle with all the different effects so that you can see what how they work and how you can use them. 
Now, if you click the move button, you can also move uh, move your um, picture around, up and down, left and right. You can turn it the others from side to side. So you can play around with that too. Okay, now I don't particularly like that way that's affected my photo. So I will go back to Burst, to the one that I had, which is a dark red with a black centre, and I'm going to press Apply. So now I've got a canvas that is fixed. Now what I'd like you to do today, or whenever you want to work with this, is to work through stuff like clouds. You've got six pictures of clouds there. Each one will give you a different image. And again, within each one, you've got hard light, lighten, multiply, overlay, screen, subtract. You've got your subtraction and fade buttons, and you can move these if you want to. So I don't really want to use that at the moment. So that's what I'm going to suggest for today. Go through all the ones that you see there, water, edifice, metal, smudge, papyrus, paint, weave. Play with them, bokeh, which gives you lots of coloured lights. And see how you the different images that you can bring up. It's really, it's absolutely fascinating. And sometimes you look and you think, right, that's just the one I want to keep. Other times you think, no, that's not really working out properly. But just for today, keep your black can blank canvas and start playing with all these different um, little effects that you can put on your on your canvas. Um, save it, and then tomorrow I'll take you a step further, and we'll start looking at um, how you can put your pictures in. The other thing I want to show you tomorrow too is effects. So if you stick at the moment to just working with your canvas and with the um, textures function, tomorrow um, I'll take you into effects and then we'll actually move into putting overlays on which are more uh, precise pictures. So I'll leave you that today. Hope you have some fun and, um, and I'll get back either tomorrow or the next day with round two, da da of working with Pink Monkey. Hope you have a great time. Tally bye.